Hi, this is Lisa with Kirby Brackets, and this video is going to be about my U.S. history class. I chose U.S. history because this semester I'm also taking women's health. Women's health, as I've made a video before, it's going wonderfully. It's really my favorite class. And when I, when it came to choosing history, women's history or history of women, whatever it was called, was, was available. As well as black history, as well as, I think, Latin American history. I'm, I'm not sure if that was a choice, but the way I felt at the time was that my U.S. history from my school career, from high school, I just, I'm not comfortable with what I know about the place where I live. And my parents, well, my, my, my father and my grandmother, who both raised me, they were born here. My grandmother was born in 1910, my father was born in 1937, and I just felt that the U.S. history class and the history class that I'm taking is post-1865. So I just felt it was time for me to, to know that aspect of American history. It would cover when my grandmother and father and my mom got here and when I grew up, it would cover all of that, and I figured it would just be beneficial for me in general to, to know something about the world. And the United States has plenty to do with the rest of the world. So I forewent taking um, African American history, which growing up in Berkeley, trust me, I had a lot of exposure to African American history and not just what's in textbooks. I mean, a lot of supplemental information. Just living there, you soak so much up. And I just felt like U.S. history was the way for me to go. Now, what's been happening is I had a I had a bump in the road in February. I lost my father the early part of February last year, and I didn't realize how that was going to hit me, or I perhaps was in denial about how that was going to hit me. But it did, and frankly, I missed some assignments. Um, history has turned out to be... Nutrition's kind of battling with it, but history has turned out to be the one I think that I'm I'm taking out my emotional problems on. It is interesting, believe it or not, in in high school for me, no history was interesting, except for actually black history. That was very interesting to me. But the class that I'm taking now, I'm at a point where it's kind of do or die. I really need to jam and do all of my assignments. And a big mistake, I talked to a school counselor, a big mistake I've been making, I want to share this with you all, is that I felt in women's health, in nutrition, and in U.S. history, I felt that I had to read every word in every chapter of the book. And she said, no way can you make it trying to do that. I can tend to be an all or nothing person, and that's what was happening here. So I was overwhelming myself and therefore feeling so full of everything that stuff would just totally not get done. And that's a mistake I'd like to ask everyone to work to watch out for is that you, you know, especially for history, I have found watching a lot of YouTube videos about the era in question, like for whatever the week is, for whatever the chapter is covering, we've had the Cold War, we've had the New Deal with FDR, we've had World War One and Two, all of those in the Cold War is actually where we are now. But there's so many videos. We learned about the Japanese internment period, and there's a ton of videos kind of giving both sides of that story. Um, and then when I was given an assignment, I could just say, what exactly does the teacher want me to do? What does she want me to reference? So I would go to the textbooks and really focus on that area of the textbook. But from the movies, I kind of had that background of what probably the rest of the textbook said, especially with a class like history. Of course, there are many perspectives, but the dates and the facts tend to be what the test is going to be on. It tends, it, those are things that it's difficult to to change a perspective can't change what date Pearl Harbor was bombed on or what part of the world Pearl Harbor was in or who did the bombing. Those things are not going to change. 
So um, the, a lot of my assignments are based on my history book is over here, which is why I keep looking in that direction. Um, this is the other book. But um, perspective is largely what the papers might be about. It might be about what do you think was the thought process here or what do you think would have been different or how could this have helped or whatever. But if you have those facts down, that's what I'm learning, you'll be okay. I mean, none of this is rocket science. I know I'm probably just saying some basic things, but that whole reading the whole chapter thing, that was a trap for me. And because these are not, frankly, because these are not computer classes, I want to get all I can out of them and I want to do well, but I don't have to hold on to every single minuscule thing that there is to learn. When I'm taking my computer classes in the summer and next semester, that's when I'll probably be a little more even into reading the whole chapter. I will want to get through it and I'll want to hold on to so much more that there is. So wanted to share that tidbit of how it's going for me in school. Speaking of history, nutrition, and health, not taking a computer class this time, I think I'm kind of taking a hit for that. I'm taking all those because they were all offered online. And you guys know I love my online format. But a, a, a class like history, my counselor said that might not have been the best choice because there are some classes where anyone could probably use a teacher making the information come more alive. There's a math class that I'm going to take, and as much as I love math, I've heard it's difficult, and I haven't been in algebra in 20 years. And that class, I probably am going to make an effort to find a, an in-person, face-to-face class. So just telling you guys also, I've changed my perspective on the whole online thing for some classes. It's still such a convenience. It's still such, I mean, I can still... I'm one who can have that book in front of me and just highlight stuff or or answer the questions based. I don't mind reading. Those things are still true. But that math class, I don't think I'm going to do what I did with history because I'm going to, I need to jam to pass this history class at this point. So um, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later.